There are many guilty parties in this affair who should be hanging their heads in shame. Firstly, whoever was responsible for leaking the memos. Then, Donald Trump and his ridiculous temper tantrums. Then, the outgoing Prime Minister, who has indulged Donald Trump so much and received nothing but disrespect in return. But for me, the biggest villain of all is the man about to become our next Prime Minister. Absolutely. He had the chance on Tuesday night, not just once, but six times, to defend Sir Kim and oppose Donald Trump. But he took an active choice instead to throw our man in Washington under the bus. Yeah. It was the most craven and despicable act of cowardice I have seen from any candidate for public office, let alone someone running to be Prime Minister. It sends the worst possible signal to our diplomatic service abroad, and it should send warning signs to our whole country that if we thought the current Prime Minister was bad when it came to her spineless attitude towards Donald Trump, then things are about to get a whole lot worse.